Swool Swool Simmers, my name is Darth Cheswick and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Honeymooners scenario in The Sims 4. Our only objective in this scenario is for our married Sims to woohoo on vacation, and currently our Sims Nina and Carly are recently engaged, so we'll be planning a wedding using my wedding stories and then going on a brief honeymoon. Our happy couple recently moved into the Piccola Luce lot in Tartosa, and this is Nina Tolliver. She's outgoing, a cat lover, and hot-headed, and her fiancé Carly Holcomb, who is a snob, high maintenance, and good. They both have the painter extraordinaire aspiration, and they are freelance artists. The two enjoy painting and take a lot of freelance gigs to support themselves, and moving to Tartosa drained the last of their savings, and they were left with only about 300 simoleons. With the upcoming nuptials, the couple was taking any gigs they could get, often only stopping to eat, sleep, or use the facilities. They talked about the wedding a lot and decided that it would be best to hire a wedding planner. It was me. I'm the wedding planner. Nina and Carly decided on a budget of 5,000 simoleons between the wedding and the honeymoon, which is perfectly reasonable, and they actually came in under budget Carly was laying out on the patio when her friends called and asked if they wanted to hang out. So the couple decided to head up to their home in Terra Amorosa, or Upper Tartosa. Those friends were Gloria, Nora, Finn, and Corey from an apartment build that I did a couple of months ago. The friends ate dinner together and discussed the wedding plans. The boys then went to bed while the girls watched a movie and spilled the town gossip together. It was starting to get late and the girls needed to head home in order to prepare for a day of painting. Carly was already awake by the time Nina woke up for breakfast, halfway through editing her icons for a video game. She was upset because the client wasn't satisfied with her third and fourth variations of the icons and she was losing hope for the gig itself. This is when Nina suggested that they sell their paintings to art collectors to earn more than the gig money and gain fame, saying that they could finally make a name for themselves, so they painted their hearts out. They sold painting after painting after painting, eventually earning more than they needed for their wedding. The next day, they walked down to the Porto Luminoso, where all the shops were located. First, they stopped at a street vendor and ordered bouquets. Nina ordered a pink and white roses, while Carly ordered an all-white bouquet of roses. Then it was off to the wedding boutique to decide what they wanted to wear to the wedding. They looked at many ideas on Simstress before they finally decided on two dresses. Now it was time to pick out a wedding cake. They were so excited, they each ordered a slice of cake to taste. Nina ordered a red velvet cake and Carly ordered a rainbow cake. After much deliberation, they decided to order a two-tier red and white heart cake, with two backups just in case a wedding guest cuts the cake first. After they had cake, they decided to take a couple selfies in front of this famous heart mural. After they finished taking selfies, they were hungry again, so they went to one of the food stalls. Carly ordered mapo tofu with pork, and Nina ordered sweet and sour pork. While they did enjoy their meal, Nina struggled with the chopsticks just a little bit. After they finished eating, they decided to head to the wedding venue to set up everything. La Copia Serena was known for their weddings. They wanted to make sure that everything at the venue was perfect. After they finished setting up, they went to a local lounge, La Celebracione de Amor, that was known for their bachelor parties and even had their own brand of champagne. The couple had one last drink together as fiancés. They stayed out for a few hours before they decided to go home and get ready for the big day. and the couple went to bed with huge smiles on their faces. Early the next morning, Carly woke up eager to prepare for the wedding, cleaning the house, showering, and packing their bags for the honeymoon, and leaving the bags by the front door. Nina woke up later and showered as Carly read a book to relax, until she remembered she had to call the wedding planner and get this wedding going. All of their friends showed up to the wedding on time, and everyone ran inside to start the ceremony. And even with all this careful planning, some things can still go wrong, like the wedding planner forgetting to hit record and having to start everything all over again. But aside from that, the wedding went surprisingly smoothly, although our guests did have trouble sitting through the wedding. Although Corey kind of has a reason to get up, since we don't want any Sims peeing their pants at our wedding. Carly and Nina exchanged vows and kissed underneath the arches, with little to no reaction from our guests. 
Then it came time to eat the assortment of food that was available from the buffet table, most of them reaching for the sweet buns. Carly and Nina then cut the cake and fed each other a piece, and didn't smash it in each other's faces, because we don't do that here. They then had their first dance, however it was very brief, because it was finally time for the honeymoon. The happy couple got in a getaway car and headed off to Sulani. Carly and Nina stayed in this recently updated residential lot, the Laguna Look Rental. It wasn't much different than the original, I just added a couple activities from other packs. It was getting late, so the couple did a yoga session on the back deck of the beach house. I tried to get them both to face the sunset, but they didn't want to. The view is still amazing though. There might not be a whole lot of gameplay in Sulani, but it is a really beautiful world. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually have any rental lots in it. I did have to adjust this house to be a rental lot. As they did their yoga, they were able to see into the crystal clear water and see all the fish. Even a few Sulani residents swam past, and it appeared like there would be a gathering soon in the lagoon. But our couple was too tired, so they went inside to watch a movie. They cuddled on the couch together, before Carly suggested that they go out and sit in the hot tub for a little while, where they finally completed the scenario by woohooing in the hot tub. The hot tub woohoo has always been one of my favorite ones. I just think it's animated very well. It's funny. We earned 5,000 rewards points for each of our sims doing this scenario, and we learned that my wedding stories isn't completely broken anymore. I'm going to let Nina and Carly have some privacy here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll put Nina and Carly before they got married on the gallery if you guys want to try this scenario for yourself. It's actually a pretty fun one. Like, despite how easy it is, it's still a really fun scenario and you get a lot of rewards points with it, which is kind of helpful. And you could very easily choose the elope option and get married right away with your sims and then just go on vacation like within the first few minutes. I just wanted to make this little video to see if my wedding stories was broken still. But all the interactions that I had queued up for my sims seemed to work pretty decently. Um, some things were lagging a little bit, like the first dance was lagging a little bit. Uh, eventually they did it just took them a minute. But that's all I have for this little playthrough. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you all in the next video. Dag dag!